In these days, as you know, coronavirus spread out worldwide and making our lives di different and difficult. And we need, to, we need to be careful not to get this new virus. So due to coronavirus pandemic, 2020 Tokyo Olympic postponed to next year. And as you all know, and all of our archery World Cup were canceled. With this situation, we sometimes feel depressed and feel blue and like this picture. Because of postponing of Olympic, some of you may lose your goal and your motivation decreased. So I would like to talk about, explain about how we can motivate ourselves in the last part. So my last part of my lecture is about motivation. So how we can enhance our motivation? Uh, there are three methods we can use to get motivated for athletes and coaches. First one is goal setting for uh, your motivation. And second one is positive self-talk and the last one is communication for build better communication with other athletes and other uh, coaches, significant others like coaches and your teammates. Firstly, I, I would like to explain about goal setting, how we can set our goal, new goal for next Olympic or next big event, next competition. What is your goal? I want to ask first uh, question. I guess we all have goal for ourselves, right? And then what is your goal? And what is your plan to achieve this goal? And what did you do to achieve this goal today? And goal is defined as attaining a specific standard of proficiency on a task, usually within a specific time limit. There are two types of goal, uh, which is long-term and short-term goals. In this slide, for team winning is the long-term goal for your team, and to achieve this goal, we need to have short-term goal. I mean, little goal to achieve big goal. For individual player, also need a short-term goal, and it's like going up each stairs, each stairs uh, from time to time. So you, you cannot go fast to, to your long-term goal. So you need to take time and make a short-term goal to achieve your long-term goal, like winning and success. And the principles of goal setting is uh, these four things. And First one, you need to be specific. And second one is under your control. Your goal needs to be under your control. And third one is be positive, not negative. And for, uh, last one is ink it. Don't think it, just think it. You have to ink it, make a record. So specifically, uh, like this example, I, I Lots of archers are saying that their goal is doing their best. It's not specific, so you have to be specific and need to have time limit. And the second principle is under your control. Like, uh, I will win. It's, it's not uh, you're under your control, so you have to change your uh, goal. And you have to be positive. Your goal should be positive. Like example, I'll not make a make a mistake at the game. Is this is so negative, and you will think about negative outcome with this goal. So your goal need to be positive. And last one is uh, you ink your goal in your daily log and diary and post it put post it on your wall. So. I would like to, I want to give you quiz. If it's a good goal, mark uh, O, or if it's a bad goal, mark X. Okay, first, uh, first, I'll lose two kilograms of weight in two months. 
is it good or bad? Yeah, it's specific and it's in under your control and it's positive, so it's a good goal. And second one is all shout fighting. It's Korean thing, right? Uh, cheers, like that. And when it's so hard for me to compete or train, is it good or bad? Yeah, it's specific and it's under your control and yeah, it's positive. Third one is I will do my best to run. It's not specific, so it's a bad goal. I'll practice the weak side 10 times more during tra training. Is it good? Yeah, it's specific and under control and positive. I'll do better than my teammates. Yeah, your teammates, it's not under your control, so it's not good. I'll do 10 minutes more than I have been given in training. Yeah, it's good. There is no goal, I'll do it if my coach told me to. Yeah, it's not good, yes. I'll encourage my teammates more than 10 times at training. It's really good for the team matches and team training. I'll take two deep breaths before the game starts to decrease your anxiety. It's a really good goal. I'll do image training during break time of competitions. Yeah, it's specific and under your control and positive, so it's a good goal. I think it's a really good goal. Number nine and number ten is a really good goal. I'll not be lazy. Yeah, it's a negative, so, you know. Number twelve, I'll not make a mistake. Yeah, it's negative, so you have to make a positive goal. I'll find three things, three funny things in training. Yeah, it's good. I'll win. It's not under control, so yeah. Fifteen, number fifteen, I'll write training log every day. Really good goal. So when you make your goals, uh, you have to make long-term goal. Like in, in four years, in like 10 years, I'll do what? I'll make new records in Korean record. And with this, this long-term goal, you have to make a goal of this year, 2020 or 2020, 21. And also you make a monthly goal and weekly goal and daily goal. So you can achieve your long-term goal with this. So I talked about how we can setting your goal, new goal. From now on, I would like to talk about self-talk and why self-talk is important for us. Uh, this, in this theory, self-fulfilling prophecy, yeah, it's hard to pronounce, but uh, it means uh, our beliefs influence on our actions and our actions impact on our others' beliefs, and other beliefs cause other actions. And this cycle, you have to understand that our beliefs influence, influence on our actions. So this part, I'd like to talk about that people's belief, beliefs influence their actions, like my beliefs influence on my actions. So. This is why positive thinking and positive self-talk is important for us. So what we talk to yourself, what we think about yourself, influence on your emotion and behavior. So self-talk for confidence. Confidence is a lot of, uh, in, in archery field and in competition, a lot of archers doing this negative self-talk. I experienced a lot of uh, archers and they, they're saying negative self-talk like I can't win now and I, I don't want to lose and I, I don't want to be a loser and I'm an idiot, I'm a, such an idiot and archery is difficult. You should change this negative self-talk to positive self-talk like this. Game is not finished yet and there is a chance to win for me. And after making mistakes, you say to yourself, like, it's okay, every archer makes mistakes. And archery is fun. So, uh, this is the habit you have to make, like, doing positive self-talk all the time. 
So in the really big, uh, big and important competition, you use this positive self-talk to talk to yourself. And self-talk for attention control is uh, focus on the task you need to do for archery performance, not the, not the task you need to you need not to do. I mean, you always focus on the task you need to do for your performance, such as stretching arms powerfully and be balanced on both feet for your performance. And other examples for self-talk for attention control. If I started earlier, and if I didn't make this mistake, this self-talk is in the past. And if I do well this shooting, this self-talk is in the future. So your self-talk should be in present, in the present, like now. Now is the time and now is, it's my chance. And until the end, I need to focus on my performance. Being in the, you, you should be in present, like here and now. So for attention control, you need to have this self-talk, do the, this self-talk, like now, until the end, and here and now. This is, a, this is an example of self-talk, uh, one, of, one of my archer. And before competition, I can do this. Yes, I can do this. And during competition, it's my chance. And during competition in adversity, when you feel difficulty, difficult to do play in, in competition, uh, you can do like this self-talk, focus on what I need to do. So let's make self-talk, my goal of self-talk. You can make like this in, in a work, work sheet. And I believe in positive thinking and positive self-talk. And I will use these self-talks in practice and competition. What is your self-talk before competition? Like, it's my time, I'll, I'll, I'll do this, let's do this. And self-talk during competition, it's my chance. And the game is not over, kind of things. And your self-talk for coping adversities, when you feel hard to play, and when you meet your rival players, and you have to make this coping uh, self-talk for yourself. So with this worksheet, you can make your self-talk. You can use in practice and competition. That's all for self-talk. And let's move on to communication to build better, co better relationship with significant others uh, with you. As you can see in these pictures, uh, in archery field, in archery competition, you can see the communicating each other, athletes communicating each other for team matches, and male and female team matches, and w female team matches. And also you can see the, a lot of communication is going on between coach and athletes like this. So how can we do the uh, communication effective, effectively? Communication uh, is defined as an act of imparting or transmitting ideas, thought, and or feeling by means or written or verbal messages and also non-verbal messages. It means a pro process by which we understand others and in turn endeavor to be understood by them. So we try to understand others and in turn try to make them understand by us. So in sport, uh, communication in sport, there are two kinds of uh, communication. The first one is coach-athlete communication, and second one is athlete-athlete communication. And for the effective coach-athlete communication, there is a, yeah, you can see this picture, uh, yeah, Korean yeah, head coach and uh, our athletes, Gugun Chan. And for effective communication, to communication successfully, uh, coaches must understand that each person with whom you communicate has had a different experience than you. And work on developing empathy skill. 
you know, the empathy means. That means put yourself in the shoes of your athletes. Listen carefully and listen attentively to their feelings and concerns and work with athletes to find appropriate solutions. I think first one is really important for the coaches to understand athletes, the differences, uh, accept the differences between coaches and athletes. And the second one is empathy. And it's, it's critical for the coaches to uh, improve their nonverbal communication skills. Nonverbal communication is more effective than verbal communication, so like facial expressions and gestures and body languages. So they need to improve, coaches need to improve nonverbal communication skills like these things. And I can say that your actions speak louder than words. So, I mean, your action, actions are more effective than your words. For the athletes, I would like to say, show this uh, slide and say, open your mind to your coach and believe your coach. And for complementing your weaknesses in archery, it is important to approach you go to your coaches first, not just wait for them to come to you and go there and ask questions to your coach first. And this is tip for athletes to their uh, coaches, communications. And between athletes, between teammates, we need to know that team comes first, not uh, myself comes, comes it's, it's not working like that. So team comes, you have to know that team comes first and like recognize that the more open you can be each other, the better are your chances of getting along and achieving your goals. So be open to other teammates and open your mind and listen to others. A lot of athletes just like to talk a lot, but they for them it's really hard to listen to other people saying. So listen to others then they will listen to you. So, and you need to empathy too. So put yourself in the shoes of other teammates and try to understand the other person's perspectives. And you should know, learn how to give and receive feedback constructively and listen to the intent of what is being said. Avoid taking things personally. Between athletes, as, um, between athletes, we need to communicate a lot and discuss strategies for improving team harmony, including ways to support and help each other, both and on and off athletic, athletic field. So like this, this picture, have team meetings for team goal setting and so on. Have meetings a lot uh, without your coaches, just teammates, just athletes. And, Spend time with teammates after training. This is the picture of uh, Liu uh, Hanjin, a uh, baseball player and Korean baseball player. They are having, uh, he is in, in LA Dodgers baseball team and they are having uh, private time after the training. They are having dinner together. So like this, spend time with your teammates after training. So this is the end of my lecture and I hope this lecture help you to get motivated and give some ideas to how to solve your mental issues in archery and competition, archery competitions. Thank you for watching my lecture for a long time. And if you have any question, you can email me in, in this address. Thank you.